This is a video on how to go about creating new projects and importing Inventor files into Fusion 360. So you'll notice that I've gone ahead and opened Fusion 360 and you can see a list of you know examples of projects I've worked on. Um, you can kind of see how I can even get rid of this by just hitting the X on the side and I can go back to it by showing this data panel. For the sake of discussion I'm just going to create a new project and uh, I'll just go ahead and I'll just call this new project just for the sake of the video and I'm going to hit enter. And and you're going to see it's going to spin because remember we're in a cloud-based program so it's basically talking to the web and so I'm going to double click on new project and I can come in and I can create a new folder and I'm going to call this uh, assembly folder I'll just call it just some random name and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to double click on my assembly folder and I want to put some parts within that folder and I'm going to go to upload and I'm going to go to select files and on the front page here I have something called Jacklift and I'm going to go ahead and I want to upload these three files and I'm going to say open and you're going to see their IPT files those are inventor part files and I can go ahead and say upload I'm going to hit pause on the video uh, while these upload and uh, it looks like it's going reasonably fast but I'll hit pause real quick and I'll come back once they're uploaded okay they have completed uploading you can see complete in here. You can see the same names down at the bottom. I have uploaded them before for a previous video that I did. And I can just go ahead and say close. And you'll notice that those parts are now here to use. So any of your former inventor parts that you've used, they are now completely uploaded within Fusion 360. And we can just go ahead and start placing them. So, you know, I can um, go back to my new project here. I can go back to home and I can go back into, you know, another project, you know, I might have been working on. Um, you know, I've been working on an automata box. I can go in here and see the automata box assembly I've been working on. I can go back to home. I'm going to go back into uh, the new project I just placed. I can go up to people and I can invite people via email into um, this uh, project that I'm working on. You can have basically two people working on the same project. It's pretty neat. So when we go back into data, this right here is our parts. We can share parts this way. Um, it's a really cool way to take your old inventor parts and put them into Fusion 360 and then start to make them. So uh, one thing you'll notice that if I want to drag anything in, let's say for an assembly, it says to save the design before you insert components. So usually whenever I start making a brand new project, the first thing you want to do is go to save and call it whatever you wish to call it and then go ahead and just say save from there. So this is a quick video on how to import old inventor files, creating new projects, and creating new folders as you get started in Fusion 360.